Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and to Maker Monday when we are going to use up some master boards that we made last year. So you, I will try to link, find the video and link to it. I think I did a video on these before, on making these master boards. And it has time to, that I have a whole bunch of, um, let me just pull this right out. Hang on. There we go. I have a bunch of ephemera. I don't have enough ephemera. And these are pre-made. I did, these were extra Christmas thingies from last year. And what I did was I went and I backed them all. This is just some uh, extra papers that I had. I backed that. Um, there's two of those. This one I'm not going to use. This one I'm not going to use. This one I'm not going to use, at least not at this time, because they're all blue in color, and I'm looking at reds and whites. And so what the first thing I'm going to do is take this and trim it down so I have a decent edge. There we go. So these are all these little pieces that aren't going to get used. Put those away. So now I have a nice clean master board and I'm going to close it, turn it this way and do this one blind. This particular page is, I'm going to keep finding those I think, this one is 11 inches by 8 inches, 11 by 8. So if it's 8, I can do 2 and 4. I can do, let's do, tell you what, let's do 3. Get that up there. Let's do 1 at 3 inches. And that leaves me with... Okay, why does it still leave me with... Oh, because I did it on the 11-inch side. Okay, that's all right. So this was... Let's go with another three. Do I want a four-inch? I do a four. No, I think I want another three-inch. Let's go with another three-inch. And then let's turn this one. This currently is... This is my eight-inch. Let's do two inches... and three inches, and that gives me two three inch pieces. So I've got several pieces over here, and I've still got two pieces over here. Um, and I'm going to simply cut those in half, so that'll be four inches. Four inches. Got a little piece that apparently was right on the edge, and four inches. Shall we see what we've got? The reveal is always the fun part. It's like, okay, let's see what we ended up with. Okay, so we have this piece and this piece. Well, that looks nice. I like that. I think it can go either way because it says a Merry Christmas to you, but that says postcard. So we have that one. We have a nice little piece here that'll work as a tuck spot. Okay, this is definitely a, going to be a journal card. And another piece that could be, I think it's going to just be a journal card. Okay, so let me figure out what's what. Journal card, journal card, tuck spot. Not sure. Uh, pocket. I think another pocket. And that might also be a pocket. So we're going to set those for pockets. And I don't know. Do I want that as a pocket or do I want that as a tuck space? I don't know. I'm going to put it over to the side. Okay, I'm going to do that and I'm going to do one more. Because I want to do up both of these. I want to use both of these. Now this was a catalog, Discover Seneca, New York. It was the, an official visitor guide to Seneca County, New York, which is the county near where I live. It's where the, the county where my husband was born. There we go, get this started. 
okay, maybe we aren't going to get this out of here. Here we go. Oh, you know what? I'm trying to do two at once. That's why it's not working. One at a time. There we go. Okay, so I'm cutting off the edge that is not really done because it, it wasn't part of, it was too close in, so we didn't get much there. So we're just going to cut that part right off. Done. Gone. Okay. All right, let's do the same thing. Only this time I want a belly band out of it. So I'm going to do two inches because I want a two inch belly band. Do I really care which side? I don't know. I'm going to go this side. I want a two inch belly band. So there we go. I have a two inch belly band. We'll reveal it already. That's what it looks like. So there's my belly band. This gives me how many inches left? That gives me nine inches left. So let's do three, three, and three. Okay, so we'll do three. And three. And then I think I'm going to do five. Because I want some of these to be a little bit bigger. I'm looking for some odd sizes. I could do a six inch one. I like the kind of like the idea of a six and two. Let's see what that comes out to be. These little extras when you when you do a do it this way, you end up sometimes with just these little extra pieces that don't quite fit. And then we'll do another we'll do this one four and three. Three and a half. Oh, let's go here. Okay, let's reveal. We've seen the belly band. What else do we have here? Oh, that's a nice journal card. I like how that one came out. That's a nice little journal card. And what's nice about these is they're primarily already decorated. I just have a little bit to do. Okay, that one came out pretty much just as the postcard, but that's okay because that's a little card that'll go in somewhere. Same thing with this one. It says, may your Christmas be happy. Okay, I kind of like that as a, hmm, that might be, oh, this was the one I didn't know. What... That one's going to definitely be a pocket. Do I want this one as a pocket? I think I'm leaning towards a pocket. These are journal cards. These are tuck spaces. I think that's a journal card. Not sure about you yet. And I think I want to leave you as a larger journal card. All right. So it's really a great, easy way to do this. I made these up last year. Um, this page with the puppies on it is started. I have some extra pieces from some or from stuff I've already started this year. So I that's ready to go for some future year. All right, let's get rid of those papers. Those are extras. And let's deal with the with the pockets. Let's start with the pockets. In order to make sure that I use these as pockets, I'm going to determine their orientation and then I'm going to put in a notch so that I know for sure and I say to myself, that's a pocket. I'm still not sure about that one. This one doesn't look even, but it is. So we're going to notch it. Okay. Get those out of there. Now this one, I kind of like, I've got this little thingy over here, but I'm thinking... I'm going to put the notch over to the side. Get that out of there. Okay. Now I was thinking, this is the one I'm still going back and forth on, aren't I? Okay. And I think I want to do the same thing on here. I'm going to put the my notch off center. I don't know. I think I've gone back and forth on that enough. It's time to decide that it's a journal card. 
There we go. Clean up the table. And now I have ready-made pockets. All that needs doing is, actually, let me do it with this. This is my Distress Oxide Vintage Photo. And some of it is already done because of the cards, the, the um, papers that I used. When I put them in there, they already kind of had that coloring to the side. So we're just going to add in a little bit more. And did now that. Is that? Yeah, that's for a minute. It looked like it was not attached. So if you have already made your Christmas master boards and you have forgotten that they exist, or if you've already made master boards, even if they're not Christmas, I know not everybody is in as Christmas a mood as I am, but if you are in a Christmas mood or holiday mood, then dig them out and let's get going. And if you're not in a Christmas mood, then dig them out anyway and let's get going. There. So now I have four pockets ready to go in those journals that I have already started. I'm just going to set those aside. Let's deal with these three. I'm not sure about you yet. You are a belly band that has... Just a little bit too much back end on it. So let's take that off of there. Now this is a belly band that I, I mean, I made a belly band out of it, but I'd already backed it. This is one of the disadvantages to having backed it is now I have a backed belly band, but you know what? It's just going to be what it is. Um, let's go ahead and do this. And when we put this in, I can add something to it. Hang on. Let me grab. Now I have, I could do that kind of thing with it. I have some clusters. I have all sorts of things for it. Hang on. I'm, I'm looking for something specific. Let me pull these things out of there. I have all of these little sayings. So this one says Merry Christmas. See the problem is I have these birds on here that are sideways. So if I put that over the top of them then they're not so sideways. So I've got Merry Christmas. I think I will do that. And I'm going to add that to my belly band because I have sideways birds. Just going to use a little bit of Fabri-Tac to attach my little Merry Christmas. Now, I could also add a little bit of lace to this, which I probably will when I put it in, a little lace at the top and the bottom. I could also make this a little tiny little pocket, which maybe I will do. Can I? Yep, I could still do that. I'm going to take this little Merry Christmas. I'm going to put it on here. And now it's a little itty bitty pocket. And I can put in little itty bitties. I have these cute little tags. I could throw a tag in there. Alright, I'm not going to put it, I'm not going to stuff them yet because it's not in the not into the place yet, but there. I added a little thing in it. Now, if I wanted to, I could add a little more washi to this. I've got kind of a seam there, so and I've got that washi there. Let me see if I can find that same washi. Oh, speaking of washi, I am now an affiliate of the washi tape shop. I have, if you go to uh, my channel, or, or, no, try, let's try this again. If you go down below, in the links below, you will see a link to the uh, washi tape shop, and it's my affiliate. All that means is that I get a kickback. If you order, if you're going to order from the washi tape shop anyway, use my link, and that way I get a little bit of money from it. That's all. That's all that means. So I would appreciate it if you would use that particular link. It gives me a little bit more 
money to go buy more craft ply supplies and play more and do more stuff with you guys. We're finished. This All right, then we have this one. Okay, we need some tags on this one. This one needs a little dressing up. This is, I've got a cute little girl down here. I can put her down there. She kind of gets lost, but that's okay. I'm all right with having it kind of an all over kind of thing. Um, and I'm thinking, you know what, if I turn this into a tag instead, I've got a part up here where it didn't get, um, the washi is not really attached, but we can solve that very quickly by making this into a tag. And that's some of those journal cards that I have said, well, this is a journal card, will also be tags. I'm just deciding what can be written on and what needs to go elsewise. So this is a sticker. Although I have found that they are very, don't oh, now see this one's going to make a liar out of me and it's going to come off nice and easily. It's very nice of it. There. So that just adds a little bit of something to it and I think that might be all it needs. I might put a rivet in it. Um, we'll just set that aside and say that one's done. Move that out of the way. Close these up for the moment. Now let's pull down the journal cards. So what, now we got to decide what's a journal card, what's a tag. I, you know, I keep going back and forth on this. You know what? Let's just do this. Let's just do it. Turning you into a journal card and making the decision and getting off the fence because those pickets hurt. What I used to tell my students when they had to craft an argument and they said, Well, I don't know what I believe. I said, Well, make a decision and then argue it. Get off the fence because those pickets hurt. All right. So, crafting with a master board can be a lot of fun. Like I said, I will put the link down below to where I have actually created this master board to begin with. And now we're, we're here it is a year later, almost, and we're actually using it. Does that need anything more? It might need a, a spot, right? Something right in the middle. I don't know. Those are, there's a lot of words there, and I like the fact that there are words on there. So I'm not sure that I need to add anything that has words on it. I got a nice little Santa. I'm liking the, the different design that kind of brings that design in. I wonder if I've got a circle in here, a full circle. I don't think I do. Oh, I've got an oval. Maybe we want the oval. Okay, we, so some of these postcards or the, I'm saying postcard because I'm looking at the word postcard. Some of these journal cards don't need a lot. Um, either I just like the way it looks. This one has a bit of an empty space in the middle, but I kind of like that. Do I want to put one of these in? I could, but I think I'm doing it just because I think I should. I think I'm going to leave that just the way it is. Let me do it up, and we'll call this one done. What I kind of like about this one is that you can journal on the back, or you could journal on the front. So you can write right on the front. So we're going to call that one done. All right. I'm going to go ahead and decorate up the rest of these and get them ready for my uh, journals. If you are enjoying these videos, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Use that link if you're going to put in a washi tape order. If I, Please, um, don't worry about it. If you don't, it's not that big a deal. It's just a little bit of help for me. 
Click the bell if you want notifications for when the next video comes out. And this is Cindy signing off.